Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And Lucy Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. We're here to talk to you about your dyslexic child and effort. So Lucy, how did this whole topic of effort come up? Alright, so as I'm writing my book, Dyslexic and Unstoppable, I was looking th uh, back through my old school report cards and comments that teachers have made through the years and I noticed that I did like one section in my, in my book about all the positive comments and the not so great comments and I, I got into a pattern that said one teacher says I'm amazing and I'm a model student but I could put more effort in my mat mm. and I'm like okay that doesn't make any sense mm. or, or she listens really well in class but um, is inconsistent in her in her results and in, and uh, it's just sometimes teachers have to be aware that I, and, and I don't think that that they do it on purpose mm. but if you have a student that you feel that is really attentive in class and 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 you get inconsistent inconsistency in their results or their homework then it should be a red flag maybe there's something going on at home or maybe um, something is just going on with the child because you can't have a model student and an inconsistent student right. in the same sentence. I have it in the same sentence in some of my comments. I'm like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Right. So, you know, like for Felix Alexander, for our son, he's got a difficulty with spelling. And we went to reading class and he's reading amazing. And he has no issues with that, but spelling is probably something that he will struggle with forever. Right. And he's aware of it, and he's fine with it, and he's like, well, I can build anything. So, okay, I can't spell that well, but it's okay, and he's fine with it. But at the same time, if um, at the beginning of the week he has spelling words, and we study all week long, and sometimes he gets 100, and sometimes he doesn't. But it's not because of lack of effort. Right. And the teacher needs to be aware that your child is trying really hard right. because there's a difference between a child that tries really hard and a child that doesn't try at all. Right. So if your child is, is doing the best that he can, then that's all you can ask for. Right. And the teacher needs to be aware of that and not put lack of effort yeah. in, in the report card when they know that it's something that they struggle with. But if they're not aware, mm -hmm. then they don't really sometimes make the connection between the two of them. Yeah, I think that actually it, it, there's two messages. There's a message for parents too. If your child hasn't been diagnosed and you don't know uh, what's going on, but you see comments coming back, because because that was when we when we were looking back through your stuff, we had realized that we had heard similar comments about Felix Alexander before, and we knew from our own experience that his effort was amazing, that he was always trying as hard as he can, and that he loved school. So we knew that that wasn't right, and then we saw the same thing on your report card. So it should be a red flag for parents, so parents can then go to the teacher and say, hey, something's not right here, we need to do some testing, we need to try to figure out what's, what exactly is going on. And also for teachers, if they see that, where they, they feel like there's inconsistent effort, approach the parents and ask them, you know, do you see inconsistent effort with the homework and, and mm -hmm. study habits and, and that? That kind of thing, because a lot of times I think what will come out is what come out come out with Felix Alexander. What came out with you is actually there was an underlying. We're both. Yeah. But you know what I realized? As we are both, we are great students. We are brilliant. We're smart. We're intelligent. I mean, we have the IQ test to prove the whole right. thing, but we also need help. Right. And that's what it is. Is what I realized going back through my journey journey of writing my book is we are both. We are brilliant and we need help. Right. And that, well, that's the whole that's um, impetus for this, this website, for these videos, and also for the book, mm -hmm. is to give that help and that hope to uh, other parents. And tools and, and strategies to, to help with those. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if this brought up anything or, or triggered anything for you, by all means, leave a comment below. Um, and be sure to visit our website, www.dyslexicandunstoppable.com. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.